Well, well luckily now we're a one-stop shop. It's, uh, we're unique in this country. We're the only uh, dealer in the UK that, uh, that imports both American and European motorhomes. Uh, and we obviously have uh, direct links with the factories for all of those brands. Uh, the brands that we stock are Auto Trail, uh, Shoson and Newsman and Bischoff. Uh, Auto Trail are a very strong UK brand. They've been around for, uh, for many years in the UK and a, a, a very high quality brand. Uh, Shoson are a French brand and they are regarded as a very uh, competitive entry level European motorhome. And we're very lucky to have the sole rights for the UK for Newsman and Bischoff, which are one of the premier German brands in the UK. Uh, we can hold about 50 units in here uh, of American and European. Um, we had about 40 American solely in here, but since we've taken the European brands on, we can, uh, we can squeeze a few more in. So. We're a very unique uh, experience here, having, the, uh, having a full set of European and UK brands and also the American brands. Uh, I believe we're the only dealer in the UK that, uh, that can offer that. Uh, we also have a very, uh, a very relaxed environment here in our showroom, um, 50 vehicles on display, all open and all available to wander through for anybody to come and look at all the different floor plans and the vehicles really makes this a, a, a special place. We deal very heavily with used as well as new, and so with the European brands, you, anything from £10,000 will buy you a, a very nice starter Europe, a European motorhome or English-built motorhome. Uh, with Americans, probably 15 to 20, uh, you can, you're going back there to mid-90s build, but still a very serviceable unit. And uh, on, yeah, on Europeans, you can go as high as uh, about nearly £200,000 now, um, and on Americans, up to 300000 We were very lucky to, to uh, pick up Auto Trail at the time we did. We've, uh, even as an American dealer, we knew the brand very well. We'd, we'd spent a lot of time taking Auto Trails in part exchange against Americans. Uh, we knew how, how uh, strong the brand was in this country and how well they were thought of. Uh, as far as UK brands go, we truly believe they're the best quality um, there is. Um, and it's great having the support from the factory in this country. We've never had that before. Um, it's, we've really enjoyed um, our first two years of selling them. And, uh, and we're only going to go bigger for them from here. I think Auto Trails, something that we've never had before being, uh, being an importer uh, for so many years, is uh, a vehicle built in the UK by UK people and designed by UK people um, for the UK market. Uh, they do things in a different way to a lot of the import uh, floor plans and designs, so it's, uh, it's nice to have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're open uh, nine to five, and it's an open uh, an open door for everybody. We've uh, got a coffee machine and uh, and free water available all day, every day. Um, but we really wanted to to get that atmosphere across to people. We wanted to. Uh, we've got units from uh, new units from thirty grand up to three hundred grand here, with the doors wide open and all the lights on. So anybody can come and spend as long as they want in here, looking around all the different floor plans and qualities of vehicles. And I think it's the only place in the UK where you can do that. It depends what it is. It depends which brand it is and whether it's from America or, or, or Europe. Um, we have a, a set factory retail price for all of our UK and European brands, so we sell our vehicles for exactly the same retail price as any dealer in Europe. So um, there's no difference there, apart from the fact that we can sell right-hand drive European dealers' cars. Um, from America, it's uh, obviously a, a big place over there. There's a lot of different brands that uh, you can't import into the UK that are actually illegal through width or length. Uh, so that's a, something that you have to avoid and um, they're also very complicated machines that take a lot of uh, looking after and a lot of preparing uh, which we are, and converting, which we obviously do here um, as a one-stop shop for the customer. Yeah, we have a, a large parts department, which we've, we've always had. We've always dealt with all of the uh, uh, American manufacturers direct, so we've been able to supply any parts, again, for chassis or, or for coaches on the, for the American side. Um, with the European brands and with the main dealerships we have, we now service all the customers that uh, are owners of those brands. Um, but we can also do habitation services on, um, on European motorhomes from, from any brand. Uh, where classes are concerned, there are basically three different types, uh, low profile, coach built and A class. 
it differs very slightly between Europeans and American uh, built vehicles. Uh, European motorhomes have uh, what they call coach built, which is a C-class uh, that has the bed above the cab. Um, there's also a similar other version to that, which is a low profile, uh, built on the same cab chassis, but uh, rather than having a sleeper over the cab, it has a, a low profile, more streamlined look from the outside, very popular at the moment. And then uh, an A-Class, which is an all-in-one body at the front, uh, which the uh, Nixman and Bischoff units have. Um, similar with Americans, they have C-Class, which is a coach-built unit with a bed over the cab, A-Class, all-in-one body at the front, uh, and they also have what they call a B-Class model, which is uh, the same as the low-profile Europeans. Purely for, and simply for American motorhomes, it's uh, Americanism that they came up with where a pusher is uh, essentially the engine is in the rear of the vehicle and a puller the engine is in the front of the vehicle. It's very difficult to say. I know European motorhome brands have often been thought of as being uh, uh, for retired couples, but no, we see uh, what we call baby, uh, baby bloomers. We find a lot of younger generations coming into motorhomes. Uh, the American brands have always had a strong young presence because they're for a lot of guys that are in motorsport or have hobbies that takes them away for uh, many weekends during the year. So no, we're very pleased to see a, a big age range throughout all of our brands. Uh, we have license restrictions in this country, as with the rest of Europe, so uh, people who haven't had their license uh, um, since 1997, they only have uh, three and a half tonnes uh, classification. Uh, prior to that, you had seven and a half tonnes as standard, so uh, also there's an issue with, uh, with um, uh, older ages as well. When you reach 70 years old, uh, you, unless you uh, carry on taking medicals, then you get uh, downgraded to 3,500 kilograms. Travelling on the roads in the UK, yes, Americans obviously are, are uh, the biggest sizes, so you have to be pretty confident driving them um, however you use them, depending on how you want to use them. If you want to use them on campsites in the UK, there are still plenty of campsites that will take them, but they're obviously, you're obviously more restricted. Europeans give you, uh, give you a much wider um, ability to be able to use them and tour throughout the UK and Europe. Um, yeah, we've, uh, we're, we're very pleased to, to have picked up uh, several European uh, main franchises very quickly when we chose to uh, diversify into Europeans. Um, uh, Nussmann and Bischoff are a very high-end German brand that have been important to the UK for some time, um, but they lost their deal in the UK and we, uh, we managed to negotiate the sole rights uh, for the UK. So we are now the only dealer for that brand and that gives us a very strong presence in the European market in the UK.